comments are these items that you walk past or would you pick these items up hey bubble buddies thanks for watching Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about 31 of my bread and butter bolos, items that I sourced cheap and sold for $35 or less on eBay. And I'm going to tell you that anyone can do this job. If you have motivation and drive and a little bit of money in your pocket to go out and source at garage sales, thrift stores, estate sales, you can flip those items for money. Um, again, these are bread and butter items, items that sold for $35 or less, but my cost of goods are so low that the profits are really, really good. So I'm gonna tell you where I got the item, what I paid for it and what it sold for. Uh, feel free to drop me any uh, questions down in the comments. Happy to answer those for you. And let's get started. All right, so the first item here is uh, from an estate sale. Yeah, I was thinking this was the, we'll call it the McDonald's estate sale. And oh my goodness, this sale was full of McDonald's boy, a former employee, and these items were all vintage. But anyhow, this is a hand puppet. And I got this for 50 cents and I sold this for $25.90. So again, 50 cents into 25 to me, is it a big money where I sold the item for hundreds of dollars? No, but 50 cents into 25, I will take that all day long. Um, little hand puppet. And let's move on to the next one here. Here's what the tag looks like. If anybody is interested in seeing that, that's how I dated it. Um, sometimes for dates, I'll just put vintage if I know it's vintage. Uh, typically, uh, you can dig around and try to find dates, but don't always go by what something says on eBay. I think sometimes people will guess and just play it safe and use vintage if you're not sure. But make sure it's vintage. And vintage would be 20 years um, or older. So it's 2022. So um, anything, I gotta think, from 2002 to current, I would consider vintage. You can uh, correct me if I'm wrong on that, but that's how I understand it. That's my rule of thumb. Okay. So this plate, uh, I'm not a big fan of breakables. If you're new here, you will hear me talk about that quite often. I try to shy, shy. I try to stay away from them, uh, just because I don't really like shipping them, but little figurines, stuff like that. This plate, I was like, I can ship a plate. And this came out of a mystery box. So I didn't really source this. This came in a box of, I believe it was in Christmas items, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but I will get uh, boxes, mystery boxes from the thrift store from time to time. And I decided that I had heard of Laurel Birch. I know some of her items can do really well. And I decided to list this. Now, was it big money? No, but I probably had a dollar less in it. And I sold this for $18.50 plus shipping. The next item is this Indian summer Thanksgiving plastic canvas. Uh, it's a kit. And if you look here, that's what the plastic canvas looks like. This is what it turns into when it's a finished product. And I couldn't find any other ones like this. I ended up selling this one for a best offer of $14 plus shipping. I just did a video not long ago on cross stitch kits to be on the lookout for. Um, I don't think this is considered cross stitch, but some of the cross stitch kits can go for big money. It's the same kind of needlework type items, uh, but definitely check out that video. There was a brand that through my research, I found out about that I did not know about it. And I talk about it in that video. So definitely I may not be the only one that doesn't know about it. So go check that out. All right. This item is a Barbie fashionista curvy doll. So she is uh, considered a plus size doll. She's just got more curves than your typical Barbie. And I didn't have any clothes, so I apologize for that. This is what it says on the back. And she came out of a mystery toy box from a thrift store. Um, I did a close up of her face just because I didn't want to use a nude picture for the first photo. Uh, she sold for... 
$8. I took a best offer of $8 and it actually sold quicker than I expected. I thought I was going to sit on this listing for a while. Um, I think maybe the face close up uh, maybe caught people's eyes when they were scrolling as compared to like a further out shot. I don't know. Maybe something you can try. Caribou. If you ever see the Caribou games, they are a bolo. If you can find them complete Oh my goodness, sealed even better, big money bolo. Now, if you find one and it is incomplete, you can sell it as incomplete and just mark what's missing or you can part it out. I have a video over on my reseller testing bolo products YouTube channel where I show you how I completely parted out a caribou game. This is one of the pieces from them. This did take a little while to sell, but a lot of times the caribou games are missing this key. So it's a replacement part. And I recently did a video on replacement parts as well. If you guys want to see other items that I sell that are replacements, it's unbelievable. Um, it seems like no matter what it is, there's someone looking for it and someone that needs it. Uh, this sold for $12, best offer. The buyer was all in for $17.60. And I got this at a garage sale. And I'm guessing by the time I parted it out, my cost of goods was probably around 75 cents. All right. These Webkins, a golden retriever dog and a frog. And right here, well, maybe I didn't do a close up. It's got the little tag on it. So I think that the tags, usually if they're still on there, somebody told me there's a way to tell if it's used or not used, the code. So you want to include a picture of the tag. I didn't know that and didn't do that in this um, listing. So that's something I learned since I listed this. I sold these for $13.31 and the buyer paid shipping. And I can't remember where I got that one. All right. These also came out of a thrift store mystery box. And I was like, I'm going to try to sell these giant nerds. I think somebody's going to want them. And sure enough, they did. Uh, I did take a best offer of $12 on those. And the buyer was all in for $20.89. These are extra large nerd candy containers. And you can see right there. Um, I love to use uh, this tape measure. It's, I think, steel or something. So it's metal. It's metal. It's probably not steel. <laughs> oh, I need to go to bed. Uh, metal. So it stays put and when you do it up like this, because I use, I also have like a sewing tape measure that I use, but this works much better in my opinion. All right, let's go on to the next one here. Back to the Future. Uh, this is the 25th anniversary tr trilogy DVD set. I got this at a garage sale for 50 cents and I ended up selling this for $24 plus shipping. This is a Thomas and Friends Henry Green uh, wooden railway train. So it is wood. Let me show you what the bottom looks like here. That's what the bottom looks like. Usually it'll tell the train's name somewhere on it. This I got at the Goodwill bins. So it's $1.79 a pound. So I probably had like a quarter, maybe 50 cents in this. And a lot of times I will lot these up, but for some reason, I just felt like this one would sell independently. And it did. I sold this for $9 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $15.42 for one train. So don't be afraid to part these things out. Does it take more time? Yes. This is a vintage Arthur plush doll. So Noelle Farm Girl Scavenger, she purchased a $50 plush lot and she gifted it to me. She purchased that from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel. So it was $50 free shipping for a huge ball of plush. And if you want to see what else I got, definitely go check out that video. There was a big money bolo in there. I'm still waiting on it to sell, but I'm holding out um, because I know that the item is a bolo and I'm going to wait on the right buyer and, and get a good price for it. So uh, check out that video. Lots of fun. Check out Noel Farm Girl Scavenger and Donatella Bottolino. This guy sold for 11 bucks and the buyer was all in for $17.78. So he's just a little cute Eden uh, 1995 plush doll. Nerf gun. Okay. This came out of a thrift store mystery box. I don't source things like this. The box was kind of a womp womp. And I was like, I've got to pick a few things out of this box and list it, even if I don't want to. And I decided to part out the Nerf guns that were in there. I didn't want to sell the huge gun. 
Um, so what I did is I took um, a couple, I made a couple different listings, but this was one of them. This is a 20 disc round magazine. There's 20 bullets here. One of them doesn't have bullets. They're from the Nerf Gun Vortex 2. And I uh, probably had a buck or so in these and I sold this for $14 and the buyer paid shipping. This is a Gans Webkins Jack Russell puppy dog. This one actually sold pretty quickly. Um, identifying what kind of animal it is. I think putting that in the title is going to help. And this one had no code. This I got at a garage sale for 50 cents. I took a, a I'm sorry, I sold it on sale, 25% off sale for $7.50 plus shipping. This I got at a garage sale. I saw American Girl, Bitty Baby, and I knew that I was going to pick this up. There, I, I, If I remember correctly, there wasn't a price on it, but I got it for $1. Sold this for $17 plus shipping. Anytime you find American Girl or Bitty Baby clothes, especially new old stock, you definitely want to pick those up if you can get them for the right price. Don't overpay. You got to be careful. A lot of times I feel like at garage sales, people have their American Girl stuff priced high. Now, some of it can be big money, so you definitely want to look it up. Just definitely do your research. This is an Avon 1975 Peekaboo Pen Pals Kangaroo Brooch. Um, so it is a fragrance. Uh, I thought it was glace, but somebody said I was saying it wrong and I can't remember how they told me to say it. So that's what it looks like. It's G L A C E, but it's, um, it, I guess it's not pronounced that way. So I apologize for pronouncing that wrong. I had no clue that I was saying it wrong. Thought I had that one right, but that's, uh, let me show you. So if you open it up, that's what it looks like. And it's like a fragrance or a perfume. This I, when I smelled it, it doesn't really smell. The people buying these probably don't even care about that. They just want it for the nostalgia, the the little brooch that it's in. I mean, people are gonna wear them. They, you know, they're just a fun item. I purchased a whole bunch of these at a thrift store. I paid fifty cents a piece for them, and they have been selling like wild, wild something. I don't know. They, what's that little slogan? I don't know. They've been selling really good. We'll just say that. So I sold this one for a best offer of $15. The buyer was all in for $21.99. The next item is this Miss Potts and Chip footstool. This is a harder to find uh, Disney figure from Beauty and the Beast. And it is another thing you can call it is a cake topper. And a lot of people buy these to put on top of cakes, but people also buy them for their kids to play with. So this one ended up selling for $9 and I picked it up at a thrift store and a bunch of little toys. So I had 10 cents in this. So when I tell you that anybody can do this, um, anybody can do this. I paid 10 cents for it and I turned it into $9. Is that huge money? No, but my investment was so tiny. You don't have need to have a lot of money to be able to start this business. Okay. This is a Build-A-Bear plush, and this one is a little better. I paid a dollar for it, and I sold it for $35 plus shipping. So he's a white polar bear, teddy bear, and he's got on this sweet karate outfit. So if they have clothes on him, they're going to go for more than they would if they didn't. But uh, a lot of times people will just take the clothes off of them and sell the clothes separately, and that is always an option. I could have sold the bear and sold the clothes separate. So you can part it out. The next item, I got this at the Goodwill bins. So I dug this out of a bin and I was like, anything Lego, uh, Duplo, the bigger Legos, I don't typically pick up unless they are something like this. This item sold really quick. Um, I ended up taking a best offer of $12 on that and the buyer was all in for $18.93. This guy took forever to sell. But I had a smaller version with a broken eye that sold super quick. But for some reason, maybe I just had him priced too high. I don't know. But this was an 18 inch and I got him at a garage sale for a buck. And I ended up taking a best offer of $22 plus shipping. I just wanted to move him out. So this is a Department 56 Monk Bell Ringer. It's porcelain and it's got a, it's called a clapper. And this is what it looks like. So it's not really a bell, but it's a clapper from my research. And this came out of a thrift store Christmas mystery box. So I probably have about a dollar in that. Somebody offered me 10 bucks on it and I went ahead and took that offer and the buyer was all in for 1748. 
This is another one that can be considered a cake topper. It's a 1984 Cabbage Patch Kids uh, toy. I did include the balloons in my title because that is something that maybe somebody that's looking for this specific item is going to put in as a keyword. I can't remember where I got this one, but I sold it for a best offer of $7 uh, plus shipping. I probably had, you know, 25 cents or less in it. Probably came in a toy lot. This came from my Dibble box from Donatella Bottolino. It was a toy box. She has a YouTube channel and I purchase lots, um, like, lots. I do purchase lots, but like bulk buys from her wholesale buys for resellers. So a box of stuff. And I paid a hundred dollars for a bunch of toys. And this was one of the items in there. And I sold this for $16. The buyer was all in for $23.77. If you would like to see the entire unboxing that is on this channel, you can check that out and definitely check out her channel and auctions for you. I have them linked down below if you're looking for inventory. So this Barbie came from the bins. I dug this out of the Goodwill bins. Super excited. It was in a Ziploc baggie and I was like, oh, she's pretty. Um, I see $1.79 a pound. I'm going to say she was probably about a buck. Sold really quick for $17 plus shipping. She is a Dolls of the World Polynesian, Polynesian Barbie doll and she's got the flowers in her hair and the grass skirt. She is super cool. These were also from the Goodwill bins. If you guys remember, I bought a tote that was full of craft items and I left them in the little tote. It was like a plastic drawer thing because I wanted to do an unboxing for you. And that is over on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel. If you want to see everything that came in that, what I decided to keep, what I got rid of, now, I did pay more because I paid for the tote that was broken and I ended up throwing it away. Um, it's more like a plastic drawer, not really a tote. But this one item, I sold these for $14.80 plus shipping. It's They're called Pretty Doll Heads. So they're arts and crafts and they're made in Japan. I love finding made in Japan items and they're vintage and they're super cool. So, and they sold pretty quickly. These vintage Santa Claus, again, made in Japan. They are felt and plastic. Got these at a garage sale for $1 and I sold these for $25 plus shipping. This guy right here is a vintage G.I. Joe from 1996. Paul Tuckett, USAF action figure. Got him out of a mystery box also from the thrift store and I sold him for $17.76 plus shipping. The next item is this uh, vintage FOE pen and it's like somebody took this FOE and put it on this vintage brooch. I don't know if it's originally connected to it or if somebody has played around with this, but uh, yeah, it ended up selling pretty quick. And this one came from a garage sale. I paid 50 cents for it and it sold for $13.32 plus shipping. The next item came out of a vintage toy box that I purchased from Auctions for You. Talked about her earlier. Again, link down below if you're looking for inventory. This ended up breaking when I was putting the batteries in it and I just sold it for parts or repair and it still sold for $14.80 plus shipping. So if it would have been in better condition, it probably would have done pretty well. The next item is this solid brass butterfly wall hanging eight inch wing span. I uh, got this at a thrift store for 50 cents and I sold it for a best offer of $9.20 plus shipping. This chunky flower necklace, it says C1946, statement piece, costume. That is where I got that. I have no idea what brand that if is, if that stands for something. I just put it in the title and um, it's just a fun little statement piece. Ended up selling this for $16.28 plus shipping and I got that at the thrift store for 50 cents. These are Disney Infinity Inside Out playset. Um, Disney Infinity. They are hit and miss, but they are typically bread and butter. I have sold quite a few of these. Um, actually, at the Goodwill Benz, there's a guy that is up there and he knows I have this YouTube channel and uh, he will always hand me stuff that he knows I like to sell and he knows I like these and he will hand these off to me. This one is not, he didn't give me these, but he gave me some of the Incredibles and it's just nice of him that he does that. So uh, definitely something I look for. And at the Goodwill bins, they're so cheap. 
but I got these at a garage sale for 50 cents and I sold them for 1480 plus shipping. The next item is this Dino Trucks Destructs Diecast Vehicle Dinosaur. I got this in a mystery box from a thrift store and I sold this for a best offer of $10 plus shipping. All right, you guys, that was, was it 31? I think it was 31. I can't remember now. Oh my goodness. Let me see here. Yeah, 31 bread and butter bolos. Let me know what you think in the comments. Are these items that you walk past or would you pick these items up? There's going to be some other videos popping up here and here, a subscribe button. I would love it if you would subscribe if you're new here. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, if you're new here, let me know how you found the channel. And if you've been here a while, leave me an owl emoji with an L on the end, not <laughs> somebody's like what are you saying I'm like I think I'm saying ow but I don't know anyway thanks for watching